Hey y'all, today I'll be um, showcasing Obstagoon and Grey League in Pokemon Go. Um, the reason I pick uh, Obstagoon is because a lot of people are using Azurmo and Stunfish, clearing Stunfish. And we'll see the counters against those Pokemon. In the beginning right now we see um, a Dugon Elite against my Skarmory Elite. Um, I like Skarmory Elite because um, it's very tanky. And right now with the new moveset Brave Bird on Skarmory, it it hits hard actually. Um, so if opponent doesn't have a shield, it'll take massive damage. So right now I think Dugan will be using the Icy Wind to lower my attack. That's fine. It's gonna keep using um Oh here go I switch to um Obstagon against that Dugan and she, uh, the, per the opponent switched to a zoom real, real quick. Gonna land that pair off. But, like I said, the reason why I use Obstagoon is to counter a zoom real with that gun shot. See if it lands. It did. As you can see, massive damage. Um, but, you know, a lot of time they don't shoot on the first one is because, um, they think it's a bait. But, um, if it goes on shield takes like massive amount of damage to Azumarill. So right now, um, Azumarill is low enough. I can just uh, finish it off with an Ice Slash um, and hopefully get a boost. Right there, we didn't get a boost. That's fine. And also, um, Obstagoon is very good against a little Marowak. As you can see, um, Dark Moves, an Ice Slash is going to do super effective damage to it. Um, and we just have to keep spamming it. Opponent switch back to Dugon, which is fine with me because counter does super effective damage to ice type Pokemon. And at this point, I'm just gonna let my Obstagoon go and just trying to do as much uh, chip damage as possible using Night Slash. Um, Night Slash is super easy to charge up, super fast to charge up. And once it get boosted, it's crazy. Um, right now, um, my Azumarill is running actually Ice Beam and Play Rub. Does not have a Hydro Pump. Um, the reason why I have that is when it comes to a mirror match against Azumarill, it'll be very useful. As you can see right there, opponent surrender. Match number two. Let's see. Let's see how we do on this one. Um, so yeah, on this one, we have Skarmory Lee again. Um, again, okay, we have Azumarill Lee. So this is not a too bad situation. Um, this case, like, sometimes I will want to, uh, just go with Sky Attack, but sometimes I want to go with, like, Brave Bird. Like, on the second try, the first try I usually go Sky Attack, and then the opponent usually... Um, will either Hydro Pump me or Ice Beam me. At this this point, I was counting the bubble. So I was expecting a Hydro Pump, actually. Um, and so I... So is Hydro Pump? Yes, it is Hydro Pump. Um, so yeah, the Hydro Pump would take massive damage to my Skarmory. So yeah. So at this point, I'll see if this can go through. Um, yeah, so if you can safely um, shield the Hydro Pump, it's actually um, pretty good. Um, but a lot of time people try to break, so yeah. So this, this, this one just got should do. I actually lost switch advantage. Um, but that's fine with me. I have a zoom roll as my mirror match. Ooh, they have a haunter. Okay. This is, uh, if it doesn't have Sludge Bomb, it's fine, but this this Haunter actually has Sludge Bomb, so it does massive damage to my obstacle. Because the, the Ghost type move, not gonna touch, do anything to me, cause um, I'm dark and normal. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna spam the Night Slash, hopefully it goes through, which it does. Um, see what the opponent is gonna send that out. area and obstacle does not do like very good 
against this matchup, but it does okay. You chip damage, just trying to lower the Arteria as much as possible. Um, remember, I have my Azuma ready, some energy ready. That Ice Beam is gonna be, it's gonna be, it's gonna hit hard against the Arteria because this is weak, double weak to Ice. So yeah, this game should be um, a set one. So yeah. So that's why Ice Bean and Play Rough um, is pretty good for this uh, this team combo. Um, this combo I just did uh, discover it online. This I did not invent it. Uh, props to the people that invented this lineup. It, I found it very useful. Um, so yeah. So yeah. Azumo just sweeping for for this game so yep saving a shield for zero i mean what for vashio should be enough to take down this arteria uh, because sky would attack when ko us yep. there you go match number two ready so you know it's doing pretty good the team comp so far you know um we do see some challenge later on, but um, we'll see. All right, on to the next opponent. And yeah, um, this whole um, whole set I will be leading with Skarmory. A low and st uh, Galarian Stunfish. This is this is like the top meta right now in uh, Great Lead. Um, the heart counter to my Skarmory. But I switched to Obstagon. And they actually switch out right away. So again, um, my technique is to try to get to a gunk shot. Hopefully it goes through. It does. This, this is huge for us. Um, we did not have a great lead. Um, but because that landed, we're in a good position right now. So right now we just have to spam and trying to go for nice slash, uh, be enough. I think it'll still leave Azumarill a little bit HP for us to farm a little more. So that's good. I had actually shield. Hmm. So yeah. Um, guess the opponent doesn't know the um, how many charge move it. Uh, I mean normal um attack move it takes to charge up for a gun shot. Right now, I think I just uh, go for a straight up farm down for energy for the next Pokemon. Um, for for Obstagum, when it's full of energy, it's actually very strong. Um, very high attack and stuff. So, Sunfish. It's going to chip away with a uh, Nice Slash. It's very spam, spammy. Um, just keep doing counter move because counter is super effective to uh, the Stunfish. And then uh, once nice lash goes through and it gets the uh, buff, that counter is gonna it's gonna go to, it's gonna go town with that stunfish. So right now, um, we can go Azumarill. Like for this one, mainly it's gonna go for Ice Beam because we don't have Hydro Pump, but that's fine because Bubble actually does enough damage um, against this. Our opponent actually switch out to Mechanium. Not good for me, so switch out to Skarmory real quick for the counter so so far looks like this game is set um there's switch lock with um Mechanium. um probably just gonna farm down um grass move frenzy plan and earth quick is not gonna do much to me um yeah so yeah doing pretty good i think i'm gonna bring back um some fish um at this rate i might go for um a sky attack or brave bird but brave bird will lower my uh, defense heavily so usually uh, i use that when like i'm about to switch or right now when i'm about to win anyways and there's nothing to lose because i still have my azurmo in the back to bubble it down so yeah as you as you saw um that brave bird did a huge amount of damage to that stunfish even though it's uh, resisted okay we have next match let's see who we're gonna see 
we have uh, Hypno, nice shiny Hypno. Um, yeah, a lot of people like Hypno because it's a very tanky Pokemon and knows a lot of moves. Knows like Fire Punch, Thunder Punch, Focus Blast, uh, Shadow Ball. So this one most likely gonna be a Thunder Punch, um, which is fine. No stat bonus. Uh, we can take that. And I think in this case, I either go for Brave Bird um, and switch out. And that if, if it go through, will, um, it'd be amazing. Look at that. Because a lot of people thought it'd just be a sky attack, but nope. Here we go. If they switch to a zoom roll. So my uh, strategy stays the same. I will charge up. Uh, for a gunk shot and if it go through is it's good for us if it doesn't still fine but in this case the zoom roll knows i have gunk shot um just a good shield by opponent and i would just try again because i want to take down this a zoom roll um see if i can um get a gunk shot again but but um sometimes it's good to bait on a second try so yeah so yeah so what i'm trying to do right here is to bait i'm gonna charge up to like a gunshot and to bait with nice slash but the uh, i think the opponent actually caught me that like that was a great move by my opponent so i had to switch back out to skarmory and they also switched back out to um hypno um so Hypno is low enough. Get to a Thunder Punch. It's not enough to take me out. So I can um, charge up a little bit more. See what they're gonna bring out next. I think they're gonna bring back their uh, Zoom up. Yeah. So, but thanks to that Hypno, I got that extra um, attack to for my charge move to get the Sky Attack out. Oh, actually, I shield. So that's great. Um, so yeah, going back to um, my own zoom row, probably, um, with the play rough and ice bean, um, I should be in a good shoe. Um, don't have any more, um, shield, but that's fine. Opponent also have play rough, um, so this is gonna be a play rough match. They actually charge a, a lot of energy, um. And I play rough. Keep spamming me. But I just have to get through one and I should be fine. And I uh, think I charge a little bit more right here. Just in case. Um, yeah. Oh, that's not to take it down. Last Pokemon. Very Stunfish. So, yeah. It'd be, it'd, it'd be nice to have Hydro Pump. But um, but it works very well against Mirror Match, so I decided to um, get Ice Speed and play well. But because my Ops are gonna save energy, I'm gonna switch out. I'm trying to throw my Nice Slash hoping for a buff, which I didn't get, but that counter damage, look at that. That's so spammy. Like, I love Ops so much because it's actually so good against Stunfish and uh, Zoomero, and a lot of people use that. So I, I believe this is a rock slide. It will not KO me. Um, yeah. So I'm just gonna keep countering down. Look at that. Look at that. I didn't have to use my Zoomo. The obstacles just took care of the stunfish. Um, very good game. Um, so for this matchup, let's see who we gonna go against. We're going against Umbreon. Also a very tanky Pokemon. A lot of people. Uh, it's been using Umbreon since uh, season one and has been a great po Pokemon because it's so bulky and tanky. Um, yeah, so I could go Sky Attack or Brave Bird. If I Brave Bird, my um, defense will drop heavily. Um, so I like a way I can do is I could land a Brave Bird and then switch out to um, a Zoomero. And if it lands, it will do a chunk of damage to um umbreon there you go a lot of people will not shield on umbreon it's because um umbreon is so tanky that they think they can take any move you know so 
might it could be a sky attack would just take less damage but um yeah um in this case obstacle does great because um the counter damage uh fighting is super effective against dart so that's great uh we have mantine um mantine or mantine or whatever you want to call it um actually pretty good and this is very interesting because in mantine actually have policy um a lot of people run um bubbles but this one has policy which is fine yeah the the technique for um mantine is just um bubble being down which is like an icy beam pretty much lowering your attack and just keep spamming it um so don't really have a shield on all the attack that Mantin throws at this obstacle but yeah Obstagoon is super weak to uh, uh, fighting because alone is um, normal and dark type. So we gotta watch out those those fighting Pokemon. Um, but we have that Skarmory to um, counter for that. So, so yeah. But pretty lucky so far. Still hasn't seen a fighting type Pokemon yet. Um, but yeah. Ice Beam. Let go of my Obstagoon. Already did his drop. Um, attack is very low and so long so much it's fine with me i think bring back up the zoomero yeah zoomero um this is a favorable matchup to me because um we saw the mantine actually have a bubble bean and, and an ice beam both of them will do uh not very effective damage to me so i can just actually farm a lot a lot of energy will not will not shield we'll just farm it down so a very interesting game though um keep farming but i guess i guess policy works okay for um anting but it doesn't take too much damage actually you know so so um i didn't want to get hit by a <laughs> of ice beam on this one um so might as well just farm it down um i thought it was be ice beam but it wasn't Mm -hmm. bring back um umbreon so yeah the the match is pretty up pretty much set um uh, pretty good i see um sky attack didn't do much compared to that brave bird that brave bird uh attack is 130 i think and yeah so because i was able to land that brave bird in the beginning this umbreon just can't do anything right now so, last one. Deoxys, also um, a Pokemon that you see a lot in uh, Great League. Um, and um, Obstagoon will be um, kind of weak to it because counter that Deoxys has, uh, his fighting move double, uh, super effective against my Obstagoon. So, yeah, I would try, try not to go against it, but sometimes I have to because... The Nice Slash, if I charge up uh, enough Nice Slash, is actually super effective against that Deoxys. Um, yeah. So in this case, um, I thought it would be a Thunderbolt that's hitting through me, but it was actually a Rock Slide. And and the reason I I have um, Ice Beam and Play Rub again is, is because it's actually pretty good against Deoxys. Slide. Like, as you can see, um, it charged up a little faster, and it actually has that. So... And then this one, the time's up. Um, we still have a Pokemon in the back. We have more Pokemon in the opponent, so big win for us. So you can see that, um, yeah, pretty good. So thanks for watching, guys. Um, and I hope you see the power of Obstagoon. And hopefully you, you can try this uh, lineup on your own. And... Let me know in the comments on how you do with this lineup. Um, thanks for watching. Um, uh, my name is Victor. Um, if you like to see more Pokemon Go content, let me know in the comment below. Thanks.